Hello guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, hello, my name is Jess. In today's video, you guys, I'm so excited. I finally have pretty much moved in to my new library slash office space. And although it's kind of bare, I do have some furniture. And you guys know because of the title, this is a bookshelf organization because to this side, I have my Billy bookcases. My husband literally just mounted them to the wall. I had taking care of like all the other parts like putting it together and he did that and he put our little plants those are fake on top of the bookshelf because he thought i would really like it and then over here this is a honest mess you guys so this is like my workstation you know yeah whatever this is but we have a lot of items let me see if i can like back up and talk to you guys so we just have basically some stuff that was actually on the bookcase downstairs and i decided to bring it up because this is such a huge bookcase you guys i got two of the big tall billy bookcases and then like a little small one in the middle and guys it's stunning i'm so excited but okay so in this video this is going to be kind of crazy because i have all of my books right here i do have some more actually downstairs but i'm going to keep them on the bookcase down there because hello it is a bookcase and we do have to showcase books on it so these are basically what I brought with me, and then as you can tell, I am reading Akatar. You guys, I'm almost done with the first book. I'm so freaking excited. But yeah, so basically, you're going to follow me, and yeah, I'm going to try and figure out what I'm going to do with these bookcases. I don't know, honestly, if like I have enough books for the bookcases, but all that means, you guys, is that I'm going to go shopping. So yeah, I think it's a win-win situation, and then... Basically what I put, so kind of my idea are, um, well, it's to have the second shelf that is small enough to just hold decor items, which I think I'm going to put like candles and eventually like little knickknacks. And then of course we have like a much larger space for books and like, I don't know, photos, whatever. And then the rest of them are just going to like hold books. But the cool thing about these bookshelves are they're completely customizable. I think you can get additional shelving, but this is what just like came with it. And they have like these little grooves, I don't even know if you can see, that literally like you just pop it out and you can put them on any one of these um, uh, dots basically. So yeah, this is going to be fun. And basically I think my first thing that I'm going to do is go through my books and kind of categorize them. I think I'm going to do it by genre. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I have a lot of standalone books or like part one of a series and I need to get the rest of the series going. So that's why I'm just gonna do genre. I honestly don't know what like my most read genre is, but we are going to find out. And I'm wearing this cute little blousy top. If you're like interested, it's literally from Altered State and yeah, it's kind of cold outside. So I thought why not? be in black literally Alex is like you look like Morticia but you know what Morticia was beautiful so hmm, it's a compliment anyways you guys okay I'm gonna sit you down probably with my tripod or do something I don't know and then we're gonna figure out these books Oh, 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 oh,
guys, I just kind of organized all of my books by genre and literally they are taking up my entire floor pretty much. So we have some romance, well not some, that's actually quite a lot. Surprisingly, there's only two sci-fi, there's Rabbits and then right under it is The Echo Wife. This is kind of my pile of like contemporary slash like randomness. That the whole pile like right there, that's all fantasy different types of fantasy but fantasy nonetheless then we have a very very short pile right there of comic books that i've just had for quite some time we have kind of a picture book that i've been waiting to give my niece when she's older and then we have murder mysteries or just like mysteries in general and this is horror novels and then that book right there that's actually not a book that's like a diary that me and my mom do so yeah, that is what I currently have working. I didn't realize that I had that much fiction. I really thought I was going to have more contemporary or even more romance. So I'm actually quite surprised about that. But I think what I'm going to do is kind of start, I guess, figuring out where I want to put my books. Like what genre needs to go on which shelf. I'm thinking that we have romance. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking on this side, we have like romance and fantasy maybe, or romance contemporary. Yeah, romance contemporary. And then in the middle, I think it's going to be like, I don't know, maybe books that I just like really love, you know, cause I want them to kind of face out. And then on this side, we can have, you know, fantasy and sci-fi. Actually, maybe we could do like horror and horror, yeah. Horror and mystery, like in the middle, maybe. Because I don't really have that many of, of that, like those two genres, but maybe it can go there. And then like, obviously, fantasy and sci-fi can go in this one. And then like contemporary romance. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But I guess we'll see. Like I said, I think I am going to have a lot of room left. Sorry, I have my ring light on because it's so hot outside and I have like the window closed and the blinds down because it gets this room so hot. And I think my ring light is just like the better light source. But yeah, and then once I kind of put things on, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to use the bookends or not, but definitely going to do the candles, which... I put some of the candles over there for whatever reason, but yeah, I'm going to kind of work with it and let's see, let's see what we, what we get.
hi Callie. Say hi Callie Bear. Say I'm a part of the vlog today. Yup, this is my room. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hi you guys, okay, I am almost done with my bookshelf. Here is kind of almost the final product. So as you guys know, I don't really have that many books. So I would say the most challenging aspect was, you know, towards the bottom, it started looking like more sparse. So basically what I did, I put my comic books right here because I really don't have a place for them. And they are kind of long, so I put them on their side. And then over here we have an HP Lovecraft book that's actually Alex's. And then over there is like some horror novels. Like clearly you can see that bunny fell. So I am going to actually utilize my bookends. But for the most part, I would say that this has come out pretty well. And I would say that the book's facing out. So obviously, most of the books that are facing out, um, give or take a couple, are actually books that are really special to me. So, you know, you have the Crave series, you have um, this Discovery of Witches, Library of Mount Shar, you know, you get it. And then there are some that, you know, just really have a beautiful and stunning cover. I'm sure I'm going to love those books just the same. But yeah, it's pretty much what's facing me now. I have kind of a basket right here of just goodies that I brought down um, or brought up from downstairs. So I have a couple of books that are just basically like illustrations from my favorite illustrator, Megan Hess. She does tremendous work. And then I have a couple like journals that I want to have. I think I have a candle and like some other knickknacks. And then obviously you see my bookends and then I have some bookmarks that I'm going to put um, in the middle. So that is the next you know, the next day with this project. And yeah, you guys, then I will be towards the finish line. Honestly, I have to say that I'm really surprised at how much space I have left. I, that was like one thing I was worried about because, you know, in like other people's videos and like online, they look so small. And I was just kind of nervous that, you know, I would be able to fill out these shelves rather quickly. And the next, you know, I'm like buying one more shelf or something like that. But no, that's not the case. You know, I have a lot of room left so that when I do go spending or, you know, whatever, if books come my way, they're definitely going to have a home on this. And of course, I'll just have to rearrange. But clearly, you can see that I, you know, have enough space. It's beautiful. And yeah, so let's start the last part. <laughs> turned out phenomenal honestly i am quite stunned at how beautiful this masterpiece is my room is like slowly coming together you guys and honestly like i just have such a happy feeling but okay i'm gonna go kind of through a tour i'm not gonna show you books i'm not gonna talk about the books but i'm gonna go through kind of the process of like you know why things are in their certain places what decor style i have going on right now you know kind of that just so you can kind of see like what i was thinking to get basically this. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so this is a just huge overview of what the entire bookshelf is showcasing. Honestly, it has so much space, but at the same time, this is honestly beautiful. So at the top, we have a couple of uh, floral arrangements that me and Alex got when we first got um, into our new house about a year or so ago. And those were actually in our kitchen, but they're gonna be here I really like it now the first shelf we just have a bunch of romance literally from left to right basically everything that you're gonna see is 
almost coordinated by color. So we start, you know, with black and then we just do the Roy G Biv and then we end in white for the most part, I would say. But yes, we have romance and then we have a Bath and Body Works candle, an instant uh, Fiji camera that I've just had and I thought that this would be a perfect place to showcase it. Normal, contemporary. And obviously, like, we're gonna have some classics eventually. Hopefully, I'll have a classic shelf, but nonetheless, this starts our contemporary. And then I do have one of my bookends because I was noticing, I don't think I filmed this, um, so this was off camera, but I basically just pushed this to the side just because this book kept falling. And so I think that's the perfect place. Then we go into kind of the fantasy, and as you can tell, these are like all black. We have A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness because obviously that has a very special place in my heart, and then basically every other book in that series. And then down here, we have um, continuing with fantasy fiction. We just have some black books to the side, leaving some room for like whatever. And then we have my comic books towards the end. Back up here, I decided to actually put all of my journals and like reading books um, that I track my stuff in so this actually just got purchased because this is going to be my new like YouTube Instagram like work book then I have like a I'm thinking of doing a like a reading log book with this but we'll see and then we have a <laughs> pieces of moments so literally I use this camera a lot but this is a couple of years ago this is me and Alex for Christmas and then basically it just has a bunch of Christmas photos that just have really precious memories and then we have another Bath & Body Works candle this was also purchased at at home when we first moved into our home and then here is actually very special to me so this is our wedding um, photo album book so we have a bunch of memories in here and then this is our unity sand that we did during our ceremony so yeah we got married July 17th of this year and I I just thought that this would be perfect and special on my bookshelf and then of course we have Megan Hess so like I said she is my favorite um, illustrator this is a, uh, actually a children's book that I purchased a couple of years ago and I'm planning on giving it to my niece Amelia when she's a little bit older because right now she she's just a baby but I'm saving it for her and then we have more Megan Hess illustrations so um, this is just basically some beautiful art that she always does for Coco Chanel and you know New York Fashion Week and stuff like that and then I have all my bookmarks well not all of them because I am missing some Harry Potter ones but I decided to showcase them just to see okay like what do I have what am I in the mood to use for so that is its home have another Bath and Body Works candle as you can clearly tell I go there all the time and then this is just a basket I have some headphones and like some beads in there but basically I think this is a perfect spot um you know just to like kind of put knickknacks and stuff like that so I think that's perfect plus it fits perfectly I know I'm going to love the rest of them and I just felt like they should have a special place on this bookshelf for right now and so they are all facing out of course I'm missing the fourth one but yeah your girl has to buy and then we have my TBR jar I thought that it would be really cute to kind of showcase it for you guys and then of course another Bath and Body Works candle because you can never have too many and then on the shelf just continues uh, fiction this is middle game I really love it again special place but this is just a beautiful cover of a book that I recently purchased which again like I told you in the beginning you're gonna see some new books I promise you I'll do a book haul relatively soon then I have this bookshelf which still has fantasy but then it starts getting into sci-fi and then we start getting into like mysteries murder thrillers of course, the library at Mount Shar is facing our way because that is one of my favorite, all like all-time favorite books by Scott Hawkins. And then down here, we have some more mystery murders. And the reason why I have the chimney sweepers come to dust is honestly because it's a hardback and it looks very beautiful and elegant. I read that like several years back. And then of course we have a bookend. And then over here is when we start our like horror, like super scary books. And I just put three right here to just to kind of make it even. And then down here, we are continuing with the horror novels. And I feel like that's so hard to say for me, you guys. I don't know why. And then I have a bookend. And then, of course, we're going to end it with H.P. Lovecraft. This is Alex's book, but basically this is going to be its final home.
Alright guys, that concludes today's video. I'm so excited with how my shelves turned out and I hope that you are just as excited because we are going on this bookcase journey together. Eventually, I can already tell that this is going to be super full with just beautiful and magnificent books, but this is just the start, you guys. So if you're interested in this, this is the Ikea Billy bookcase and it's the two uh, normal size ones. I forget what they what the size they are, but they're the normal size and then this is a skinny one. These are super customizable. I mean, they literally have different colors, shapes, sizes. I mean, you name it, they pretty much have it. But this is kind of the, the plan that I wanted for this room. And I think it works like just amazingly. And then I know I didn't really talk about my desk, but if you're interested, this is Ikea as well. It's the Malm, that's M-A-L-M, -M, desk. This is an L shape, but the L shape part can actually go underneath the desk for the most part. And then all the technology, the chair, if you're interested, and even the ring light, that's on Amazon. I literally just typed in like ring light, bought like the one with the best reviews, stuff like that. So nothing too special, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. That really helps support my channel. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make content like this all the time. This is my awkward booktube world. So really excited for all of this. And if you want to follow me on other social media platforms, as always, I'll have all my social medias linked down below. But yeah, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.